Or it occurs to me that Red Shirt, Red Bagger is probably Red Overload. However, I'm the one who had to watch this movie. So, of the two of us, you're good. The House. So the House stars Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler, and their friend Jason... No, it's Dukakis. Hold on. Jason Manzukis. I hope that's right, because he's the funniest one in the movie. Basically, Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler's daughter gets accepted to college. They can't pay for the college, so their friend's like, Hey, how about we open up an underground casino? Highly illegal? Yeah, but I can pay off my house. You can pay for your kid's college. Everyone wins. And then they open this underground casino, and... Money, hopefully. Hopefully some laughs too. <laughs> well, there were some laughs in the movie, honestly. There were a couple of parts that made me chuckle. A couple of one-liners that made me chuckle. It was mostly from that dude. More often than not, there were some awkward ass moments that was like, that's supposed to be funny. Take a beat for the audience to laugh. Continue. That's the bummer of this movie is it, it's an interesting premise to trail the Red Band trailer. It made me laugh. Then when you watch the execution, you're like, no, nope, it's just kind of awkward. Not a lot of laughs. The funniest part in the movie is actually in the Red Band trailer. I'll save you some time. I'll link the Red Band trailer below. Go to this time right there in the trailer. Then you'll see the funniest part of the movie. It was as funny in the movie as it was in the trailer, but now that you saw it in the trailer, don't have to watch the movie. You're welcome. The last act of the movie tries to build on this little subplot that's happening, but it just came across as sloppy as shit. It came across like they were like, all right, we finished production of the movie. All right, it's about an hour long. We need more time. We need filler. What to do? All right, create this subplot and have that pay off in the end. We'll pay off for the movie, not pay off for the audience. Because in the end, for the audience, you're just looking at it like, yep, it just feels choppy, out of place, boring, and just downright messy. Like, there were some jokes and some moments in the movie that it's like they were constructed as afterthoughts also. Like, there's this joke about, oh, let's watch The Walking Dead together. And then the next scene, they're watching The Walking Dead and they're being awkward with the daughter. And then the scene's over. Movie could have done without that. But again, it's like they were like, we need to fill the time. So we'll just put awkward ass jokes in the movie that don't really pay off. I'd love to say Will Ferrell shines in this movie or something like that, but he really doesn't. Amy Poehler was funnier than Will Ferrell. Jason Manzoukas really stole the show. I feel like it's gonna be the shortest review ever. There's not much to say about the movie. But I'm not gonna do to you what the movie did to me, which is just make shit up and throw shit at you because I need to fill time. Know what you need to know. The movie has a couple of funny parts, a couple of funny lines, but in the end, the movie just generally speaking falls flat. It's sloppy. It's messy. Then when the movie wraps up, you walk out, you're like, okay, now we're dealing with a 22 hour day. That's my full day. The fact that I can't think of more to say really shows you you're not gonna remember this movie in T minus 10 minutes. Yep, already forgot. All right guys, so The House, have you seen it? What did you think about it? You're probably not going to. Not because I said you shouldn't, I'm just saying you're probably not going to. So what is a disappointing comedy this year for you? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.